Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Heroes Charge. Today we're going to spend a little bit more time uh, basically rounding off the advanced instances um, and the time rift portion. So uh, last, last episode that we did here was on the Tidal Temple. Uh, the last piece that's left to talk about is going to be Dwarf Arsenal. So we're just going to hop right into it here and I'll kind of give a, a brief overview. But uh, basically the gist of it is Dwarf Arsenal, unlike the Tidal Temple, is a, I guess, an, an item drop for items that you can essentially exchange for gold at the shop. Um, like I had mentioned in the last episode, the Tidal Temple is geared around experience. So all the drops that you'll get there are going to be experienced cheese or exp steak or whatever that looks like everything that you get here in the dwarf arsenal is geared around money and gold so um like i had mentioned they they both uh both of these instances have their their pluses and minuses um to be honest I don't buy a ton with the gold that I have. I've just kind of been saving up over time. So I would say I'm maybe a little less excited. Um, however, well, actually, you know what? I should take that back. I guess if I'm just being realistic about it, um, I have less heroes that I'm trying to spend time on leveling up currently um, as opposed to heroes that... Um, or gear that I could potentially buy at a shop um, using the gold that I acquire in these instances. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, this, this is very valuable. Um, as you can see, I'm doing it on a, a, a pretty pretty tough difficulty level here. Uh, hopefully we should be able to survive this one. It's actually uh, pretty rare to get um, the healer down first. That's, this is actually creating a problem here. Um Again, this is, this is not auto fight, and I would also say, um, just naturally speaking, this one, this particular one, is more difficult than, um, I guess, is more difficult than Tidal Temple, in my opinion, uh, just because the the enemies here are, they're more tanky. Man, this is this is really gonna be. Whew, this is tough. Um, so this is awesome. So I guess like, I guess here you go. This is what a, a a failure looks like. I don't think there's any possibility that I'm gonna be able to get both of these guys down in the next 28 seconds. We'll let it play out just to see how this uh, pans out. And uh, we're just about done. Just about there. Man, 17 seconds. Can he do it? Man, holy cow. If he can do this, this is going to be impressive. 10 seconds. Come on. Don't waste time cloning. Oh man, 4 seconds. Man, that was going to be that was going to be super close. Anyhow, um basically we'll go ahead and we'll we'll uh, just replay it, but basically this this instance is difficult because especially these uh, cannon guys right in the front that look like they kind of look like tanks that come out they absorb a lot of damage and they're very difficult to to kind of take down right away so I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll manual this one and uh, you know you'll see that this this works out a little bit better when when you're careful with it but as you can see here I mean it's it, once you get to the back line, you're kind of okay. Um, it's just kind of getting through this first layer of, of enemies here in the beginning. And as you can see, we got one down on the first one, but we still got about a quarter of the of, of his HP left. I mean, we can get through it reasonably quick, but there's a, a perfect example right there. We just, we just took him down. So I'm actually going to save the specials for the next stage here. Yeah, these ones get kind of tough, and I, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I oftentimes, in, in the course of my day, I'll, like, lose track of, of which one of these things that I um, can automate or just auto-fight uh, versus which ones I really need to be careful and, and pay my full attention towards. This is definitely one of those, and it really, 
it really get, becomes a nuisance after a while. And I struggle, I struggle pretty bad with it. So we're in a lot better shape here, this go around. So the key here is to try to save the heels um, till about probably now while I have some heroes that are not exactly at uh, full HP. And that's the, you know, that's a challenge anytime that you auto fight any instance is that the, the risk that you take is that your heroes, if they're, they're full HP, like they can, you're basically wasting a heal on that. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still a struggle is pretty real here, but again, we're in far better shape here. We had, honestly, this one is over. We have this one in the bag at this point. Um, too bad, uh, too bad I missed the ultimate when I popped the auto fight, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely worth it because as you can see there, you get a ton of drops from this. And I mean, you know, 57,000 a piece for the, for the purple metal elements. I mean, that's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty easy to rack up a good chunk of gold when you have the opportunity to do this. So we'll kind of kind of go through this one more time here. Now the other now the other thing is too. Um, there are some definite like pluses and minuses that kind of get um, uncovered when you attempt to run an instance such as this. And what I mean by that is one of the things that I really noticed is difficult is my death mage. My death mage does a ton of damage, and. I use my death mage probably just about every stop of the way if I can. Um, any instance, any raid, um, whatever, any anything that I could use her for, I'm basically gonna try to use her. Um, but what happens is with her ultimate, her ultimate is kind of it's kind of what kills it because her ultimate is something that does. Uh, I guess depending on what terminology or phraseology you guys are used to, AOE damage, so area of effect, um, or some people call it splash damage, because it doesn't just damage a single target, it dam damages several targets. So it's it's a, a positive and a negative in the sense that the damage that's being done, it goes and will damage everyone that you know, every one that it hits, but the more targets there are, the the more that damage is spread out and not focused on one specific thing. And that can be, like I said, it can be a positive and a negative in that scope. Because like here, for instance, there are five enemies. Again, so five, five V five here. Um, because of that, her attacks are going to kind of fl like flip around between all five of the targets, right? I have several targets that are pretty weak right now, but unfortunately, you know, until we start getting down to, you know, three or two or one or, you know, whatever, the attacks are a lot less focused. So that is the, the one single downfall. I mean, I mean, I know it's hard to complain. Death Mage is, is pretty baller, but you know what it like that's the the difficult part right there but again tons tons of loot drops from this so definitely worth it and again i mean you can't really argue with a half a million damage in that instance so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed uh the mini series that i just wrapped up with the advanced instances and now uh you know with the time rift we kind of walked through that Stay tuned for a special surprise that we'll do on the next episode. Um, should be a lot of fun. And I think what we'll do next is we'll kind of just get into some regular daily routines and uh, what that looks like and how to make you the best player that you can be in Heroes Charge. That's about it for me, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. Please hit the like button. And we'll see you next time.